Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey, and today we have a bill. This bill, it took me forever guys, you have no idea. I went through so many days trying to figure this thing out, trying to... I restarted many times in different points of the same day because I didn't want to just to take down everything that I did, right? Like just to break it down. It was just easier to restart the day and then restart the day. It was just, I had the idea and I wanted to build a parking garage, right? It, I, I thought it was gonna be a cool idea. I think it was gonna work, it was gonna fit. And honestly, I really thought it was gonna be very simple, right? It was uh, just a big square, different levels and make it close and, and just like that, right? And so I, I, I started the idea and as we continue to, to work on the video and, and work on the, on the outline and all of that, it came to a point that I was not happy at all. Like it didn't look like a parking garage to me. It just, it didn't flow the way that I wanted to flow. It didn't have the, the feel that I want. Like every time I Google a picture of parking garages, you know, it, they, they look cool, right? They, they, they have all these multi layers. You see stairs on the side. It, it, of course, it's a big uh, uh, block. You got roofs hiding the different levels and the point when I got in this point of the video, um, at one point, like let, let's say a halfway point to it, the, it was just too open because I was not making a roof, I was not making the different layers, right? And that that to me didn't, didn't give me the satisfaction. It didn't give me what I wanted. I wanted to build a parking garage. I wanted to build that structure, not just, just two tiers high and put a parking lot, like, like the illusion the the way that i wanted this building to feel that's what i wanted and telling you guys it was it was a fight <laughs> it was a fight i was frustrated many times through this build i was just so many times very disappointed i i just didn't think it i was gonna make it work i, I didn't think it was gonna look and you know i i, I have this thing that i don't want to put just any content out there i, I want if I, if I want to put something out there, if I want to put it in a video and make it, I want it to, to be something that it looks good, that you guys can be proud, that I can be proud of myself, and at the end, that I want to be happy. You know, we're back on my main island. You know, this is this is going to be part of, of my main island, my main design. We're back in the old town right here. The, the idea of the, this structure is that this is next to one of the orchards because it's a picking orchard there that's where people go that's where people you know and you imagine like it's pat is a full place so we got the parking garage people are parking the boardwalk is right over there eventually we're gonna have a road that's gonna go across the river and it's gonna attach to the old town right so so the idea of a parking garage i really liked it it was gonna bring something extra bring some height bring something to break up the flatness that i had on this area on this side of the town and that and the goal of that and my vision that I wanted and to a certain point in this video, once we get there, I was not just happy. And and I didn't know, I, I many times I thought I was just gonna scrap the whole idea and forget about it. I, I didn't think it could be done. And But something in me just kept at it, kept at it and wanted to keep picking at it in many days. Sometimes even at some point I, I was working so hard and so so and you know because i was kind of a little frustrated that i i even did it through the steam deck so when i play on the steam i can't record but i, I was i just needed to keep working ideas working details so there, there'll be some sections in this video that some of those details are missing but they're not big ones it just maybe i move one column from here to the next side or maybe i move the stair two steps to the to the side just a little details like that, that that i needed to work on when i had the idea when i had the vision because it, it would have i had the motivation at that specific moment but okay okay so so that that's the intro that's the 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 conversation so you guys understand what's going on why this video is so long because we went through a lot of trials and error to make this bill at the end something that we all can be proud that some people may get inspired that some people may want to imitate this or maybe you guys can do even better maybe one of you or a lot of you will figure this building out 
and come up with such an amazing design that then you guys gotta tell me so I can fix mine. But okay, so so here we are. So so let, let's. I know you guys were watching while listening. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit of what we were doing, what we were building, and and what's the approach at the moment. So so at first we we initiated with the the entry right. So every time we look at a parking a parking garage building. You know, you, you had the big opening where you're gonna go in and out. So so we make that. We we use uh, one of the bridges, uh, the ones brick, and we're gonna use a lot of the brick. We're gonna use uh, cement. Uh, in some section, we're gonna use marble, and we also gonna use the mossy brick path just to break up a little bit because uh, at one point of the section also it was way too too much cement, and it, it, I, I don't know that there, there was a lot of things that in this build it, it wasn't going for me and it, I was just like I said very disappointed uh, not very happy of what I was able to accomplish so so okay so so the, the first thing okay so we made the entrance then we kind of lay out the, the road right where's gonna be the first level you know the the first ground level you know I, I can't make him so deep because and then the illusion at the same time of the spacing and the roofing because as we can't do like actual tier so we're still trying to create something perspective the idea of when you're looking at it it feels like it's tall it feels like everything belongs together so that's that's part of the idea so i can't go really deep on a parking lot because and then the third tier will be so far away so just enough that i can park a bike and have then enough behind it so you can drive so that that's the approach right it's, it's just enough for a parking enough to drive by and then we're gonna have the ramps curving when you take you to the second tier and then another ramp taking you to the third tier kind of like when you go to that those type of buildings and you're driving and you're going up and up and up right so okay so we're approaching it that way so we make the the first section of parking we make the spacing that we need and then slowly I, I gotta start imagining the stairs. So I want stairs on one side, just in case, let's say, you, you know, you wanna walk to where your parking lot, you're technically not supposed to walk on the road. So you wanna have stairs, right? And leading you to, from the first floor to the second, to the second, to the third. So, and the stairs, guys, it was a nightmare. It, it was, it, I couldn't create the illusion that I wanted. I couldn't create the depth that I wanted. No, right away, you know, because when you're doing the stairs and just kind of going up, it, it became too close then the third tier was so far away and then I, I i wanted to make him thicker and then wider and and when we get to those portions of, of the of, of the video right when, when you see they're working on the stairs it was is depending on the illusion depending on what you want right uh like always i'm more picky um I'm, i have a vision in my head that's what i'm trying to accomplish i know probably in many points in this video a lot of you are going to be looking at, at some of these ideas and you guys are going to love it you guys may like the simplicity of one specific style you guys may like the openness of one another one but but since i have this vision in my head that i want to put into dinkum so the the struggle of me not making that happen that was the challenge that 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 was the situation so so, so just in case if you get to a point on a video especially when we get to the halfway point and and it's just open right the, there's no roofing in the building it's just very open and for me it's not what i wanted so i really wanted to keep working at it but if you if we get to that point if you really like it you know and and you prefer that over the final product that is with the roof then go ahead and do it without the bridges and the roofing because because at the end at the end you know I gotta be happy with my island and I want you to be happy with your island and your creations, right? And as long as you get some inspiration, as long as an idea sparks in you and then you may able even to do it better than I'm able to do it here, that's the goal, right? The, the goal of always is that this video to spark some inspiration, some idea, something that will make you build something that to continue to build in Dinkum. So, so as long as that goal happens, we're good. We're completely good and, and and very exciting. Okay, so so here we are. So so I kind of make the ramps. So we got the ramps going to the second level. Then we have the other ramp going to the third level, as you can see right there. And so so everything's kind of slowly coming together. I at this point I was like, okay, okay, everything's coming out good. The ideas are coming out good. Everything is working just the way it needs to work, and it's very exciting. And and. So, 
so yeah I, I wasn't like yet like not unmotivated no because the parking lot area is coming out good the vision of the different tiers the lengths everything all that's coming out great it's when i come to this section right over here when it comes to the stairs this section is it was the struggle I, in the just right away it, it, it didn't flew it, it just it was a struggle just to pick at it and pick at it and working on it should i go like a uh, one stair wide should i go two stair wide should i should i have like a little fencing so to make it a little more realistic instead of just open stairway and and that's something that depending on your style you know a lot of people don't mind not having a, a safety net like a little rails against the stairs when you're climbing up because you know it's a game you know uh, at the same time uh i'm one of those people that is trying to build something as realistic as possible in the income and so i i, I, I when i look at pictures and i see the stairs they have rails so I'm, I'm trying to imitate something like that that we will have some rails or if it doesn't have rails so how can i make more sense maybe by making them wider and that struggle and and that thinking in my mind is it's is what made this build a little more complicated because i could have made sacrifices i could have made corners i could have made uh, some other decisions that might have made the build easier in many ways but i know at the end it would have not been what i wanted it would have not been exactly what i had in my mind and and as long as even though i was frustrated and i and i took uh time uh you know i, I stopped playing i went out I, I did other stuff i watched the movie you know i got this total bill it combined it was four different days of coming in working on it playing on the steam deck at lunch at break trying to tweak in different aspect of this bill and i but at the end at the end you know i i, I always felt like i could still fix it i could still work on it i could still manage it it was not a lost cause even though many times and i'm being honest it was it would have been just happy to to stop it to not worry about it not to just 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 kind of to give up right is um but I, I didn't want to it, it was it was i still had a feeling that it can be done i still had a feeling that we could still accomplish something a song a song at the end it will feel like a parking garage that i know i made the design that, that i really wanted right and at, at the very end when we, when we get to those points in the end it's those final details that made the build really come alive if it, it, it was adding specific items specific signs specific wording uh, uh that in specific locations that started transforming this build from just being maybe just a square with different level to something that really starting to feel something that you will see in the real world something that you will see when you go to a city and I, and once those points got here i was starting to feel better the, that ending part was now becoming fun because the build was actually coming together and i was like okay we finally got to a point that i knew i was like yes okay okay this is looking real this is looking like the best at least right now that i can do in dinkum into maybe we get different items different mechanics it is looking like something that i will see in the real world and that and that when when i finally got to that point it became such a happy moment it's especially for me because this believe it or not has been the hardest build that i have done it, from thinking that it was gonna be one of the easiest, that this is something easy and cool to do, to the work and and especially not to give up. That was that was the key, not giving up. And yeah, yeah, it it, it was in many ways it was it was a, a good experience because now I can motivate even more people. I can motivate you not to give up, just to keep working at it, to keep work as long as you feel that you can make it that you can tweak it that you can fix it then yes it that's gonna be the motivation that you need because now i went through it i experienced it now i know the struggle that what it is if you really feel that it can be done but if you still feel like you can make it happen 
then I'm right behind you. Uh, you don't give up. You got my support. Let's keep picking at it. You know, send me a picture on my Discord and we can kind of look at it together. Maybe I can give just one advice, something like that. And, and just put a comment below your picture, something like that, you know, because if you really feel like and you can still make it happen, it's just there's something that is missing that you need, then yeah, let's make it happen, you know, because if I was able to make it, I know you guys can make it. So, okay, so as, as you guys are watching the video, you know, it's, it's just a lot, a lot of building, a lot of taking down, in and out. As you can see, the stairs is, here we go again. We, I just keep retweaking the stairs and they never felt right, you know, and it, especially because I want the stairs to lead to each level and the first level going to the second level is, is that wasn't bad it's going from the second to the third because I really wanted to create that illusion of the stairs that is just going up in one specific way is uh, from far away it could look uh, it's, it's more like a perspective view right from far away you can see the stairs but when you walk in it, you know you're going backward and going more towards the back and towards the back but once we go from the second to the last level, the, the third tier of the of the parking lot, then that staircase is so far away. And to create the illusion that I wanted to be satisfied, to be happy, is it, it was a lot of tweaking as you can see into I found the right combination, the right stair combination that I liked and the, the, the very last one is it was the best one it worked out great it made the most sense it made the most sense with the bill with the parking lot going from the second to the third level and and then yeah and and, and that's when when you find those sweet spots right when, when you find that the happy medium from from where you from where you were to that point you know and, and, and many times I had to sleep on it I had to come back three four hours later just so i can look at it just to see if i was truly happy and truly just and or if i wasn't just compromising because i'm, I'm tired of working on the stairs and 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 that was one of the things with this video with this project it was so many times you i, I could have compromised you know i, I could have just i could have been like you know what that's it i can make this work i'm just gonna leave this section the way it is it is what it is you know, I know I'm not happy, but I just gonna leave it the way it is. And and would have been easy. It would have been easy to do that. It would have been just, uh, and you nobody would have known. Everybody would have thought that's the way that I wanted it. And it, it would have been just that. But something didn't let me, something didn't want me to do that. Uh, and something in me kept picking at it and kept just working at it. So, okay, so so now that we got to this point and I, I'm, I'm taking a break from the stairs and that's what I'm doing. I'm truly just taking a break. I'm, I, I just, I was working too much in the stairs so I needed to regroup. So I went to another section of the building that I know was gonna be kinda easy, at least in my mind. It was, okay, I just need now to raise the section because you know, parking garage are all square, you know? So I'm thinking I'm gonna raise all these walls and gonna close this up and it's gonna be just fine. And when I started closing that, and when I started raising the walls and closing everything out, I was now happy. And, and that was the other thing. You know, I, in my vision, in my head, I thought it was gonna look cool. Like very, a very closed out building, right? It was just gonna be, this building is closed, there's the wall, that's what it is, and that's that. And no, no, it, it was just a big cement wall and that was it. And I was not enjoying it, I was not liking it. Having that high wall, especially on the front of the building, right? Since right now, at this very moment, we can hang signs, we can hang posters, uh, picture frames, then it was not doing the illusion that I wanted. It was just a big cement wall going up and and it's better to see something than not to see it. And as you can see, you see how every, some sections I like, but it was the front. The front, that big wall like that, it was not just working. I was like, no, no, this is not working. And then we had this in the middle. Then the middle, I thought about raising it uh, more in the middle eventually. And uh, But I didn't end up getting to that point because I was not liking it. And then here, I'm putting a lot of the cement because, you know, most uh, parking garages are all concrete, right? All cement, all, all everywhere. And... So I wanted to start seeing it, but then I was like, ah, oh, this is, this big front wall is bothering me. So let me see what I can do. 
what if I lower it? What if we are gonna be able to see a little bit of the parking lot, right? It was just the start. I wanted to see how, just to see, because at the same time, I want us to be able to view a little bit from the, especially from the third tier, like, like you know, when you go to a parking garage, you're in the high, and you know, it's, you, you have the open sky, you're right there and you can see, depending where the parking garage building is, you can see the city, you can see the town, you can see, something you know and and i wanted that I, I wanted part of that so part of that big wall like that since the third tier is so far away and i'm not at the edge it was going to be blocking part of the view of the orchard and i was like not happy because i was counting in a way on that view uh that way we have something else to view way up high so so that then so that was then the next chapter in this in this project that it wasn't as easy and as happy, like I said, another frustration, another section that I was no happy. And I was like, man, this building is just not coming together. It doesn't, it doesn't wanna be fleshed out. I'm chiseling away, I'm breaking things down and I keep tweaking at it. And I'm trying to get this building to tell me, what do you want? How, tell me, tell me, tell me how you can come alive. You know, and, 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 that's, and that's why we're still here. We're still struggling. We're still doing it. So, so a, a lot of the reference pictures that I have from the parking garages have all these um, the the team fence, you know, that type of fence all around the buildings, maybe around some sections uh, in front of it. And I was like, okay, so that makes it look a little more more industrial, more more city like. And so I was like, okay, so let me make a lot of these team fence. Let me start putting it in sections so we can have a fence, right? So we have this section. So. A lot of this section in the back, I was gonna make a wall, but since I didn't like what I did on the front, I didn't make it just yet. Eventually, we are gonna close this up, and then we were able to fix it and tweak it with some cool little ideas that at the end worked out great, looks good, and it, it made us, uh, I think at the end, uh, I think you guys are gonna be happy, and I was happy, that's why, you know, the video's out. And, but I was doing all these team fence, I was trying to make it work, and, but the team fence, Again, it blended so much with the concrete and the cement that I was like, I don't know, like it's just everything feels so bland. And, and I know most buildings, most parking buildings is literally concrete, yellow, white signs, and that's it, right? It's just a parking lot, it's, it, there's nothing pretty. So what I ended up doing is researching more parking lots that have greenery, that are like like they call them like green parking lots like they got like all these like vines hanging from their walls they have like in the very top part of the area they have all this greenery and and just kind of are these parking garage style buildings that are very pretty right they have just flowers and they got trees and and just very green minded environment and all that so once i started looking at more of those parking lots then I had an, an idea that it evolved from being very simple and very industrial looking style parking garage building to, okay, so since I don't like what I'm seeing here with the fences and with all this concrete, so what if I start bringing some green? Green to offset the concrete. And then that started working. Slowly that idea it started evolving, it started, uh, I was finding all these great reference pictures online, all the way from our reference, from real buildings. And I was like, okay, this this idea can work. You know, uh, it, I'm gonna start taking some of these fences in between, I'm gonna leave some in between, just to see if it kinda looks cool. And I was like, okay, this is kinda working. This is, this is I'm, I'm feeling it, and it, it was really, really good. So. So over here, I noticed that I was off. I needed more space to have like the two and the two in the back. So I needed to tweak this. So this is one of my first sections that I was like, oh no, I messed up. Uh, my calculations are wrong. Somehow I missed it. So how can I tweak this without hurting a lot? So, and the only way to tweak it was to actually take a lot of this stuff down and redo the front, the front entrance. It needed again to go more to the front. And I was, again, I was like, man, this, this building, this building doesn't want to get built. This building doesn't want to be, it doesn't want to come alive. It just keeps fighting me in every turn. But I didn't want to give up. Like I said, I, every time, even though I was frustrated, even though sometimes I was disappointed in myself, in the build, in the way things were coming out, 
something in me was like, you can still make this happen. We can still make it happen. Let's speak at it. Let's keep working at it and don't give up. And that's what we're doing. So here we are again. Now we're redoing the front. We had to redo a little bit in the middle sections. Now we, we're going to be redoing the front just so we can have enough space again so we can park the motorbikes and have enough space so you can drive uh, behind them. So so here we are. So at least it wasn't something like so complicated, so like it can be done. And but we did it. We fixed it. And here we are. So, so now I was like, okay, I need to make like this the, the pictures that I'm using they look pretty cool you know for the staircases so they have like all these uh, cement concrete beams coming now where because the stairs are attached to this beam so I'm trying again to create that illusion and like I said the stair was the biggest struggle for me because I'm trying to do something that I have in my mind that it is even hard to explain to you guys you know it, it's, it's you know the stairs can be very simple depending on what the way you want to approach it if you are truly wanted to do this build and don't want to just do the stairs at the, same, the way you want as well it can be very straightforward you don't have to have all these multi different um stairs you can make one just going from the bottom all the way to the top and have exit points you know and that's another good way to approach it i was trying to you know do a little more design work trying to do a little more something cool something that you know that may look a little hard and that's you know i, I put a lot more pressure on myself but that's what I like, you know, it, when, when it comes to designing, that's where I have the most fun. So I just, even though sometimes I get frustrated at the same time, once I was able to actually achieve what I wanted, then it was a very fun and I, you know, and here we are talking about the video, talking about what we did and talking about everything that went through my mind and especially on this one, because there was so much going on in my mind. So, okay. So, so it's not like the, the, the entry view, right? I, I didn't like the front. I didn't like what I had. So I was thinking, okay, so, so what if I make something like little openings, you know, like a lot of parking garage in the very bottom and front. Sometimes you have all these openings and squares that usually they go all the way to the top of the building, but I didn't want to, I, I can't do that here. So I was like, okay, so what about if I make some opening and then slowly in those opening, I'm gonna start adding some greenery as well, that the greenery portion of the video is about to come. And and slowly that, that started making the, the build feel a little better. So here we are, we are just now raising a little more of the wall, fixing some of these corners. I needed like a little extra to match it to the other side, you know? So it was very important to match the the corner of one of the building to match the other corner of the building and kind of so even though they're not in equal length in size because one side is for the parking garage the other side is just for the stair so i didn't need it to be sim uh, uh to have all the symmetry but if you need it then you can always extend and have more to the side at the same time that will give you more space to work on your stairs so that could be a benefit for you uh but for what I wanted, I wanted one side to be a little smaller because it was just for the stairs and then the other side from the middle, kind of more for the middle and the opening towards the other side. It was just going to be mainly concentrated for the parking lot area and the road and all of that. So so that's why I don't care for the symmetry part of, it of the building, but the corners needed kind of to match. So the front, you know, it's not like, whoa, there's something off here. So, okay, so here we are. So now I'm trying to add all this greenery, right? I saw I saw uh, artwork, I saw render pictures, I saw real life buildings, and and I like what I saw, you know? Uh, some of them in every opening, they got like all these bushes, you know, that people can just, as they park and they wanna look out, they got all this a bush or flowers or vines. And I was like, okay, okay. So how can I make something like this? with what we have in the income what kind of greenery so i was thinking okay well if i have this opening maybe i can use the hedge art and put it sideways like this and that, that was my first test and I, honestly at first i was like hey okay i think i got something here Let, let's keep working at it let's keep picking at it let's keep adding different things okay maybe i don't like the brick boxes so let's take those off what about if i add now this uh the this parts over here and let's see how this looks and and this is when it comes a lot of try and error, right? In this section, I was having fun. So that was a great thing. You know, I, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a great time. I feel like things are coming together. And I was like, okay, I think the greenery is going to be good. Good. Can I add flowers? Didn't like the flowers. So I was like, I still don't like the flower brick boxes. So let's take that off. I and then 
we just keep working and working. So once I got something that I was kind of happy with it, then I added it to the other side just so I can see kind of a little bit more. Then I left it, then I kept kind of imitating what I did in the very front in the different tiers. So this is what you see. And then I thought, oh, what about if I just alternate it and leave some of the team fans in between, just as Paul. And then you got like this little, like I, you can't fall through it really, but you have some gaps in between so you can see kind of through it. So it gives you more of a vision. And this is where slowly, a lot of you may like this and may not like what I did at the end. So this is, could be, this is a 50-50 towing cost right here is some, some of you will like the open roof aesthetic, right? And it's not bad, right? It's, it's not bad. I, I will even myself admit it. It's not bad the way this looks, but I still wanted to create the illusion of a parking garage with a roof, with a structure. So uh, I wasn't not happy with what I had right there, but I know a lot of you will like it, will enjoy it, uh, and we think that it looks uh, really good for you guys. So, okay, so slowly I took a break from that. I know I needed, I wanted to make this outline from the front. You kind of like divide, had a little bit of the bottom of the, of the wall. So we add a little bit of greenery. We did some edging with some of the flower boxes. And then slowly a lot of that's gonna be tweaked. So every time I stood in the front here, my struggle was is it doesn't feel like a parking garage and, and and to me, that was always what was in my mind. You know, it doesn't matter how it looks from the top or how it looks from the air. It, I, it didn't matter to me how much it looks too much from when I'm walking inside of it, because once you're inside, it, it does kind of feel like a parking garage. It just doesn't have a roof, but it's, it just kind of has that feel, right? And, but it was always from the front. And and to me, you know, when, when the best views when you're building, it's not when you're flying, it's when you're walking your island, right? It, it's, it's, that's how the perspective, that's how the design, the item placement, the most enjoyable, at least for me, the way I enjoy when I do the island tours is when I'm walking, you know? Uh, that's why I'm not too worried about helicopter viewing as much because the most enjoyable part for me is always walking the island and seeing the layering, seeing the structure. So the, the next thing that I was like, okay, so maybe I need lettering. A lot of the parking garages, they got signs, right? They got big signs saying parking, they go up and down, they're they're hanging on the wall, uh, they, they got just signs everywhere. And sometimes they got like posters and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, so when I started for adding bulletin boards, maybe I can start adding some of the big letters that I have not used them yet. So this is the first time I use them in a bill. And and that was then the next approach. It's like, okay, so what if I start laying more items, more foundation? And here, when I'm looking at it from far away, see, it just, it's pretty, but it doesn't feel like a parking garage. So I was like, okay, okay, I, I need to regroup. Okay, so and the, the next big thing that I, that I wanted to start using uh, is something that I saw in my Dinkum by Vesha Tree video that is gonna be one of the next videos I will be editing very soon. But I started noticing that a lot of crosswalks, a lot of stuff that when people are gonna cross, that you got all these yellow uh, lines, right? So since we don't have real crosswalks yet, uh, like a tile or something like that in Dinkum, you know, something that I'm gonna start, and this is where I'm testing it first, is using the honeycomb. I don't use it. I never had a reason to use the honeycomb pass just yet, but I do like it as a crossing path option, crossing walk, crossing session, something that's pointing that you can cross here from this point to the next point so, or an, an entryway. You know, a lot of places have those yellow coloring in for safety, for entryway. So I was like, you know what? That will give it a little more something. And I, and a lot of the parking garage, look, look at it right now, look for pictures. You will see the yellow, right? Especially in the entrance and all of that. Uh, and I thought, I thought that was gonna bring something more to this build. So I started using the honeycomb path. I think that, uh, and I liked it, I enjoyed it, and I think it really brought something extra. So the next thing I wanted, okay, I need something more in the air, something more that tells me something uh, visually. Then I, I, I saw a lot of parking garages got like flags, you know, you got flags from your country, flag from your town, from your city, sports teams. So I was like, you know what? I like that idea. Let's go ahead and add some in the very top, in very key spots that I feel like it needs some height and something, some movement. So your eyes, when you're looking at it, you have something to see. So, and then we had this sidewall. This sidewall over here, I didn't like it. It was just too plain. And since I can't have windows, I can't have openings. I was like, I need something. So I was like, okay, so what in big letters 
this is one section of the building that is promoting it. This is a parking garage. So that's what we did. We created the parking garage section. We raised it up. We broke the part of the cement with some mossy green. That that will change. Once those, uh, I started planting some lily, uh, lily trees in there in the front. Once they grow, I still need to raise those letters a little bit higher. And then I do a little tweak with marble. I think it looks better and we left it at that. And then slowly, slowly, some of these areas are finally coming together. But again, here we are. I was still not happy with the open. So I was like, you know what? Let's try something new. What about if I use the bridges to make tunnels? Just in the parking areas, right? Of course, I can't do it on, on top of the ramps. Uh, I, so I can't cover that. But what if I do the most that I can where in the first and the second tier and leave the third one open just like any other park garage building, but just do the first and the second and cover it up and make the feel of the tunnel, makes that illusion happen. And you know what? I was very happy with this idea. I started testing it out. And then this finally gave me for me, like I said, a lot of you may not like this, and, and that's okay, you know, uh, uh, item and structures and design are very subjected to the style of what you are creating or what you like, what's your taste. But I, I am, I wanted to create the illusion of roofing in this parking garage. I wanted to still feel a little somehow like a parking garage instead of just being open. But don't forget, if you like the openness, keep it because it's bringing you joy. I had a specific thing in mind and that's what I wanted to approach and try to create. So here, so here we are. So, so I'm tweaking. I'm doing this. So I needed to tweak this end, this section here, going another round. So I'm thinking, what about if I make like a window style opening, right? Like how you see in real parking garage, that like you can see through it. So I was like, okay, but this will be cool because you can see the ramp going up. So I think that idea is cool. And then let's frame it with another bridge. And then this framework in the front all the building now it started feel, feeling a little more close it wasn't feeling like it's just so so open right and i like that i like that i, I still even looking at it right now uh i never retweak it but i should have tried it but i haven't tried it maybe i maybe now that i'm relaxed now that everything is done i am i think maybe the final test that i would like to do is maybe test the first bridge of the entryway. I don't know if I like it that high or if I would like to raise it, but for now, truly for now, it's the only thing that I may want to still test. I was just happy the way everything turned out at the end, but here we are. Okay, so so the next thing is, uh, I wanted to make the entry feel a little more, more for what I see in the pictures, uh, more elevated, a little more, uh, just adding extra stuff to it. So so I, I, I raised kind of those two little sections there and put some cement. So, to top so it can make it sort of feel flat to have a little again more height more thing it's, it's kind of like just adding more roughness into the build so here we are so I, I i wanted more of a bridge to continue this so i kind of restructured this section here i made it a little more open here at the stair the new staircase i kind of fixed it this is the best way that i could do the staircase leading to the third level that i think it makes sense there's the parking lot of the second level you imagine that you walk you can walk down the stairs but at the same time if you're coming from the first level, you go first level and then it takes you directly to the third level. So I think now the movement of the staircase are good. This is the best way that I could make it. But at least when I made it to this point, I was very happy with what we were able to accomplish. Okay, so so now what, what we're doing here, I noticed that the trees were just too close to the lettering. I wanted to raise a little higher. And then I thought, hey, what about, okay, so I got cement, I got green. What about if I put marble? and just keep making a little this wall a little better looking and, and more structure and more like design. And I think I like the white, the white came out really good. So you guys, you got the cement, you got the mossy brick pass, but then in front of the mossy green path, it'll be all green. I added the marble, I liked it, but don't forget, if you want it all green, you want it all just cement, feel free to tweak and add and do exactly what you need. So, okay, so so we got the lettering on the top, we got the parking on the side, so things are finally coming together. So this is when slowly now I'm having fun. This is, now I'm relaxed. The structure is feel more like a parking garage. So, so the next thing that I wanted, instead of what I did before that I had all this buried in the ground, let's make it higher. 
let's make this feel even more secluded, more building, more rough, more just just when you look at it, you're like, man, this is this is a big building. It's, so so that's what I did. Instead of putting the flower boxes buried, I just left them the same high. I think it was better. I think it feels better uh, for this particular build. So this is this was my approach. Okay, so the next thing that I want is like, okay, every entry of the parking garage, they have those wooden uh, things that let you go in and out, you know, kind of like if you got to pay to get in and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, so which tree sign is the best one to make this illusion happen? I picked the, the tin one. I think it's really good. I made one that is like close. Like if you're getting out, you can't get out just yet. And I made the one to get in like it's open. And this slowly, these are the details, like I mentioned before, that now is starting to make this build, make it feel real to me and the best way that I could. And it's, it's starting to really make it feel like it is a parking lot, like it is this structure that is meant for that. So the mailboxes are the tickets, you know, when you go in in the car and you got to stop and grab your ticket and then it lets you in. So the mailbox are simulating that idea. That is just something that you go in, you got to grab it, same thing with the pay uh, to pay out. You got the, uh, in the back right there, you got the, the, the stand and that's kind of like where an employee could be working, something like that. So here we are, we're, we're testing a little bit of the movement, see how everything feels, you know, is this is a motorbike right now, parking lot, you know, uh, parking garage area for more bikes. If one day we get trucks, cars, hey, I'll make another one and that'll be for those, you know? Uh, but for right now, I, I think it's slowly final feeling. So uh, a little bit, uh, I kept working at it. We're gonna keep picking at it. So I started deciding uh, to add a little more greenery now in different sections because I still like what I saw in those pictures and reference and artworks of green park garages like you know that they, they just more focus on the greenery in those buildings and i wanted to add a little more greenery so i, I decided to um instead of just on the edges let's just keep using the flower pots and keep using these trees to bring a little more greenery in specific area so it just kind of looks a little more better so so now we're working right over here so this is the section that also made it feel a little more realistic right now we can hang posters or anything right we can't hang sign so what i did and i had a double wall right here i was like you know what what if i bury this bring it down put a sign and the sign is pointing towards the second level and it worked out great and then it gives you that illusion it gives you something more inside the building instead of just being plain wall this sign that is amazing how we everybody in the community is using this sign for different things james thank you so much is fantastic you know and this sign hey let's get him in white in different colors because it would be amazing but so so we're using this sign to make the illusion like this is telling you to go in different ways so same thing we're here we're gonna do it again i have a double um i don't have a double wall here but i do have the the stair right over here so when we lower this it still looks good the sign covers the stairs so it works out great everything is a-okay when we do this and we're gonna put another sign here that's gonna say pointing toward the other side that is gonna go to the third level and the good thing is i found in the keyboard we uh it's not like we can add arrows but i don't know what you call that key but you're gonna see it and we're gonna add like a little pointing and it works out great and I love it because even going forward we can start using that and to point at things if you want to so as you can see right here you see how we have that it's kind of like a bracket or something and and I put three and look at that it looks so good it looks so good like it's pointing so I like it down there we're gonna fix it over here look at that level 3c that way level 2b this way and then eventually I noticed so I fixed the entryway this is something that I did off camera I was in the steam deck just I was still working and my lunch right I had an idea to kind of refix the front so what you see in the front there's gonna be a section that we're gonna walk it a little bit slower and so we can see a little bit of some of the small changes I kind of restructured the front now everything is kind of working together I added a little more cones I added a tractor in here so I brought it from my farm brought it right over here because I wanted to give a little bit more in this section of the wall because it was just so bare right and the tractor fills that void fills that thing and then i wanted to add a sign right here talking about level one and also pointing towards the stairs 
that we have. So, and then that also helped with this wall. It helped to break this wall. So I'm looking from the far back. I feel like it's a little too low. We're gonna raise it, make it a little higher. And then that's when I thought about pointing at the stairs. And then now the building, the structure, everything's coming together. I feel like everything's great. I still don't know if I wanna raise the, also the green signs, the same ones in the front behind the bulletin board. The bulletin boards are referring parking garages that have like a, like a sign that uh, sign or pricing or stuff on the side with a bunch of uh, everything is just a lot of reading things and, and again these are the details that are very subjective you can move them you can put them in different areas the bulletin boards maybe I can put them more on the side there's still some tweaking if I still wanted to tweak this more uh, but I'm re very happy I'm very happy with what I have here we are we're walking part of this build we're, we're seeing the things that we are we have done uh, everything is flowing together, all the different levels, all the details, everything that we were able to add to it to make it feel really more alive, more more together. And even though the struggle was real, we got to a point that this build, it was one of those moments that if I either give up and don't do it anymore, or if you believe, if you truly believe that you can make this happen, that you can make this work good, that you make it and guys i'm just so happy that we made it that look at this view i think it looks great there's always things that we can tweak even look at me right here i feel like i can tweak some things and maybe i do off camera but for you guys for this build for the idea for you guys to hopefully have some inspiration something new something to work towards or something that will spark an idea and a new design that you guys will do even better than i did but guys, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit a like, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and we'll see you next time. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.